we were driving through the desert here and the road just kind of disappeared but uh got to scout things out and saw some horses here it's pretty cool they uh just seem remarkably unconcerned about us horse skull wow this is a heavy horse area not to mention there are uh, horse trails all through here tracks everywhere these guys seem remarkably unconcerned about us okay now they're starting to get a little anxious i don't want to bother them but that's where we got to go that's where the mine is in that direction i wonder what they're working on there's water in there or something Beautiful animals. There is water in there. That would explain why there's so much horse activity here in terms of trails and such. This is a cool scene. We got our Jeep over there on the right. Got the wild horses right here. Hiking down to a mine. That's pretty awesome. Got some waste rock piles in the background, even. I like it. Just inside the adit now, it already looks interesting. The main adit runs that way. There's a wooden door right here. It looks like a powder magazine in all likelihood. To my left, there's a drift running off here. Oh, actually, that does not go very far. Powder magazine is almost certainly empty, but we'll check. Yep, empty, except for a can of fruit. Okay, that little corner threw me off, I wanted to be sure. Just check out the powder magazine there. Let's go see what's ahead. There's colorful at it here. You see they had rail in here at one time you see where the track ties were the rail has been removed ah, okay there's a little a uh, little stope here running up there over here we have a winds dropping down looks like there was an ore chute here at one time, but that's all plugged up now. Feel a nice breeze here. There's a drift, or I should say the attic runs, oh, there's rail. Attic runs that way. Uh, that dead ends right there. And I think this is a caved stope right here. Yeah, looks like there was an ore chute there. Uh, see right there? I guess an ore chute that's failed. That's done. Taking a look at those winds here. I don't see where there would have been uh, any significant hoisting apparatus or anything like that. So it was probably a windless operated uh, system. Let's take a look down it. Here's looking down the winds. That's the bottom right there. Uh, doesn't look like it has drifts coming off of it. It looks like it just uh, stops down there. You know, they're poking around down there a little bit, but I don't see any sign of drift coming off it. Uh, a little pocket that cleared out right there, but it looks like it just stops right there. There's that winds right there. My friends went ahead while I was checking that out. So, we'll go see what they're up to. I do you like this rail in here? That is cool. Man, it's really, uh, it's really small here. I'm bent way over right now. This is crazy. I cannot believe how small this is. There's some miners graffiti right there. 
I can't get in a position where I can pull back and have a look at it. There's just no space at all in here. It's just so tiny. This is crazy. Looks like the edge of a fault right here. Sure, it's flat, smooth right there. I gotta get out of this section. It's killing my back. This is brutal. Man. Oh, this is horrible. I really hope we can stand up in a minute. That was me scraping my helmet on top of the attic because it's so short. Oh, it's on, finally. A little uh, stove right here. Oh, man, it was hard walking through that. So, you see the rail takes a sharp bend to the left right there. That looks pretty cool. There's also something going ahead. There's some nice airflow here too. This is pretty cool. Wow. Okay. Stuff running off ahead that way. Check that out in a minute. There's just a hole in the ground right here. It doesn't go anywhere. It's not an obstacle for us. Looks like there may have been an ore chute there at one time. See those timbers up there? I got a bunch of rocks on top of them still. Oh, it gets even better. Big ore chute right there. That looks cool. Rail bins around there. Those look like mine explorer's dates. I don't think this mine was worked then. An ore chute right here that's completely plugged. Gives you a sense of uh, how much weight is sitting underneath those rocks. Or excuse me, sitting underneath those timbers right there. Or sitting on top of those timbers right there. It's been a long exploring day. Coming some slack with being able to be articulate. Yeah, a lot of weight on those timbers. And those are the kind of old school timbers I like, where they just cut the trees down from outside and stick them in there without milling. That looks cool. That's really cool. Well, let's do the right hand rule. I think the airflow is coming from this direction. It's hard to tell. Let's go try. Figure out what's going on. Yeah, I think there was an ore chute there. See, doesn't that look like the side of an ore chute? Yeah, and look how much waste rock sitting up there. Got some. Little backfill drift right here. They threw a bunch of junk, obviously. You see a pretty big drill mark right there. It's a ladder here, as you can see, pretty obviously. Really hard to make out of these dates and the writing. Yeah, definitely uh, airflow coming here. Ooh, look at that. So there's a really deep cut dropping down here. Right there, let me uh, drop down and get a better look at that there. Okay, I dropped down to uh, this little landing right here where I can look down and see there's a decent ladder dropping down to that level down there. So go down that in just a minute. Just want to show you uh, what's down here. There's clearly another level down there. No, that might be caved, but there's something running underneath me. It might even tie into that winds. Uh, I may have uh, been too negative about where that winds went. I may cut under there going somewhere interesting. Um, my friends looped around, and they actually looked in from over there. So that ties in somehow. We'll figure that out later. Right now, I'm going to uh, put the camera away. Climb down this ladder, and uh, let's see what's down there. All right, I just came down the ladder there, and my friend's up there. Uh, it looks like a big pit. I don't really like being down here, because there's a bunch of stuff sloughing off the walls here, or the uh, sides of the pit. Um, I'll start with what's behind me. Looks like it drops down quite a ways there, so 
I'm well above the original uh, floor of this pit. Come in here. You can see maybe something went there at one time, but it's all caved and filled in. This just uh, runs down to nothing right there. Looking up here, you see, uh, like I said, maybe there was something there at one time, but that's completely filled in. And then looking back this way, sorry, this is hard to walk on. Looking back this way, past the ladder. There's just a little pocket right here. Doesn't look like I ever went anywhere. A bunch of wood down here, like there may have been I don't know, a platform or something down here. Got the remains of a dynamite box there. Uh, oh, this actually goes farther than I expected. Let me crawl down there. All right, I did not expect this. Uh, I thought this just petered out. But there's a bunch of air coming through here. And looking through this tiny space, there's a ladder right there. This is about two feet high right here. Uh, don't know how doable it's going to be, but I'm going to go check that out. All right, here's looking down that space. And there is some air coming through here, but uh, oh man, that that lower ladder is really rickety, and that's vertical, and it cuts under. Uh, just a second, hard to focus that light. I was saying it cuts under there. I can't see what I'm getting into if I start going down there. And that makes me uncomfortable because if that ladder fails, I'm completely committed at that point, uh, and that's really rickety. So. I'm gonna get past on this one because it's vertical, but uh, obviously there is something running down there, and this does not connect to that first winds we saw. Interesting. Okay, I'm back up on top now. That's that unusual pit I was just checking out. Just not quite sure what to make of that. Runs back that way. I kind of breezed past this on the way in, but there's this ladder here leading up to some interestingness up here. There's a platform running up there. Go check that out. Before going up there though, I wanted to show you something interesting down here by the ladder. They've got some powder, some explosive that did not detonate properly. And so they're drawing it to the attention of other miners. You can sort of see the remnants of it in there. It's been a while since that failed to explode. But that's pretty interesting. All right, I'm gonna uh, go up this ladder far enough just to see what is like right in there. And we'll check it out. All right, up the ladder now. This is that platform here. And a stope running up right there. Behind me here, there's uh, more stoping, as you can see, and it runs up there. I'll, uh, I'll climb up to there and see how it looks. All right, I just climbed up from the ladder there into the stope here. And uh, looking ahead, see all the stoles here? It's pretty extensively stoped, actually. Uh, it actually runs up higher there. I don't have any way to get there, unfortunately, but it, uh, it does run up there. You see some waste rock and stuff spilling down here. And uh, there is, uh, I think there was an ore chute right there. If I remember, didn't we pass an ore chute or the remains of an ore chute or something like right in there? That seems to, I think that's what we did. Strange, uh, meshy wire thing here. I'm not sure what that would have been used for. Maybe a classifier. Looks like a lot of rubble has come down. It looks like there's a top of an ore chute right there too. Looks like a lot of rock has come down from the stope to uh, fall on top of that. 
pretty interesting seeing uh, the stoke from this angle or this perspective runs up there too. All right, let's uh, go back and go to the left, see what we missed to the left. All right, we just checked out that section there where that strange pit was. There was indeed an ore chute there uh, that I was speculating about from above. Remember that thing? Yeah, glad I didn't cross that. Coming around over here, there's also another ore chute here, so we've been crossing two completely loaded ore chutes. Got the rails back, which is cool. Bend in through here. Uh, just saw the flash graffiti right there, but it's not that exciting. Another loaded ore chute here. Uh, that just goes and faces out right there. It's not too exciting. Is that drill steel or what is that? It's all piping. Oh, okay, piping. That's dry cleaning chemical. Dry cleaning chemical, exactly what you need inside of a mine. The rails are bending around. This is kind of cool. It's photogenic at least. There's a lot of these core sample drills. Yeah, I can see that. Is this where we were looking through? That is one of the passages that connects to it. Okay, so that looks through to that pit that we were That's where just I was in. standing, right through that hole. The pit is directly to the right. Okay, so when we were talking to my friend, I seen his light. It was through that hole there. I can see why you didn't want to go through that. And that is the same chamber that I was in. Same chamber there. And if you look back up this way, okay. they, um, they blocked it off. Okay, let's look at my head up there. So we got a uh, blast sheet here on the ground in front of us. I was just standing down there checking out that blast sheet and I've climbed up to the point where we can look up and see where this uh, stope ahead overhead has been sealed off, blocked off, and then looking over here you see it drops down as well and that ties into uh, the pit where I was down that way. All right, we were just looking in there. There's the uh, blast sheet there. Continuing on. These rails make some really sharp turns. That short at it again, too. Looks like a little Maya graffiti here. Uh, just ends. Faces out right there. Got some wood tossed back here. Looking this way. Oh, that's interesting how they took the ground out there. Made a little pit right there. Doesn't go down very far, but it looks kind of cool. With the rail extending out over that and forward that way. No idea what that says. Just a little stope overhead here. Continuing along these rails here. It's almost like a little trestle. Looks like we had an ore sheet or something fail here. Well, maybe it's just backfill. The rails keep twisting around. Got something leading back that way. Where does that go? That's that passage that ties to the pit. Okay, that just goes to the pit? That you were just seeing. Again. Okay, well I'm glad I don't have to crawl through that. You do have to crawl through it. Oh, I do? That's too bad. That's kinda cool. Alright, I do have to crawl through people, that. People would be upset if you didn't crawl through Alright, I'll crawl through it. Uh, just faces out right there. A little stope overhead. Just ends right there. Looking ahead. Does this just face out? Yeah. Looking ahead, just faces out right here. And somebody's obviously living back here, meaning an animal. A lot of mammalian feces back here. The tracks uh, stopped right there. All right, I've been told that I must crawl through there and see what's there.
All right, just crawled through the hole there. You can see the track right there. And this is pretty cool. It does open up pretty extensively in here. Did that go anywhere? He's checking that out. Runs down here. I don't know if this was a winds at one time or, or what, but it's all filled in now. It sounds like he's going somewhere. We'll see where that goes. Looking overhead, it's pretty spacious as well. And in front of us here is a date. I was trying to make out what it said. I cannot successfully do so. Is that 19? Is that 49? What is that year? It looks like August 8th or 9th. Uh, August 9th. Looks like August 9th. 49? I'm not sure. The drift running back here. This way. Go there in just a sec. What's the word from up there? Uh, it goes up in some stoping. Alright, just goes up in some stopes, he said. So let's check this out. Oh, okay, just uh, faces out right there. Past some uh, interesting graffiti right here. Looks like Helen. If that's how Helen looked, I feel sorry for her. Interesting to see that. And there's obviously something written here, but that's just too faded. Cool little mine. Coming back up from the mine now, and the horses left, so we came over to see what they were working on, and it is indeed water. There's a tiny amount of water right there that they are able to find. It's stagnant, it doesn't look that appealing, but it is water. It's amazing they're able to track this down, and obviously all the horses in the neighborhood know about that because there's just a ton of activity here. Oh, there they are up there. Still kind of hanging around. That's really, really interesting. And they, uh, you saw them, you know, digging it out with their hooves to, uh, you know, bring up more water or maintain the access to the water. That's wild how it's just seeping out right there. Really interesting. 